crab snare. Did you get some rock crab? The prediction was for 20 foot see. homemade crabs. That was busted. Look at the lunchbox. You man here. See, that gets you into the way of using Stuff with good color. Probably closer to 14. Are you still filming? Snare. I've never crab snared before, so I thought, hey, might as well go out to the South Jetty and uh, give it a try. See what's out there. Brought three poles. Yeah, I brought my regular fishing pole and uh, two junkers I had in the garage. Two for crab snare, one for fishing. If you get it, Here we go. They were out here early. Oh my God! Everybody's heading back. The waves are small, huh? Well, no, they're pretty good size, but the tide's kind of killing it. Oh, yeah, it's coming in high, it's high yeah, tide. It's really high. Yeah, going fishing. You too. High tide taking away all that sand makes those little cliffs there. They're always fun to get on top and kind of break off a little chunk, chunk and watch it flop. <laughs> okay, out here uh, on the harbor, heading towards the South Jetty. It's going to be a wonderful day. I'm going to try some crab snaring. In fact, I. I was out trying to get crab snares and I couldn't find any, so I had to make my own, which wasn't that hard. Uh, I'll, I'll show you some of the ones I made once we get going. It'd be nice to get some rock crab. You know, dungeons would be cool, but I think I'm just going to try to pull the, the claws off any rock, rock crabs I get. So if I catch any, we'll just see. wanted to take one claw off to see if I like them. <laughs> like you got a boat wreck. Some pretty big swells going by, so. The uh, prediction was you for 20 see. foot swells last week, and so um, maybe this thing got beat around in them. That's what it looks like. Got away from the harbor and drug out here. Pretty amazing, really. Oh, look at that. That's two, two six cylinders or two four cylinders. Somebody's got to come in and haul this baby out. Yeah, the, the engine looked virtually brand wow. new, or the two engines did. I think that was a very new, a new boat. That's a homemade crab snare. I went to buy some and I couldn't get it. I went to two stores. So I just went and uh, had, I had my hardware cloth in the house anyway. So we're going to try these, fill it up. And then I, I made a couple of them. Then I thought, well, damn, why'd it have to be so fancy? So I made a real quick one. I just bent the hardware cloth right in half and put a weight on it and a clip on there to hold it shut. And uh, we'll shove the uh, bait right inside there and see how that works. Made the loops out of 30 pound test with loop knots and tied them on. I've got my cabazon tail, some skin. Attach the lid just by uh, using the hardware cloth's own wire. You just bend it around and make a little hinge. These things are pretty easy to make, really. Okay, then I got my old clunky rod. Or a clip to a clip. <laughs> it's okay. Filled that one up with some leftover Working pork tenderloin. Out. Oh no! <laughs> Who knew that was busted? One of the top sections just slid out, so I clipped it to the one below it, a quick repair. Okay, right. that's what we didn't want to be doing, which is making repairs while we're here, because we just wasted time. 
I put one trap on the ocean side, the one trap on the harbor side, and we'll see uh, which side catches any crab, if any. I don't know if that's a big rock crab, but it was over five inches. Yeah. Look at that, I'm a homemade crab snare. Caught me a nice crab. That is a bunch of mail. Those are some nice claws. Good. Can't leave a caught one. Caught it on the crab snare where <laughs> I just bent it in half. The easy one to make. Sure, remove one call. All right, got a rock crab on my homemade crab snare. <laughs> Go put him back. That crab claw wasn't bad. I wish I would have caught more. Wow. That thing is manhandled. So you can see why they build them out of heavy duty cloth. Look what this thing did. But um, this thing only cost me a few pennies to make. It's so. a homemade clam. And it's funny, it's the cheap one he, he got. But look at that, it's just, he's just bent all the metal. He was working hard. Taking man. a quick snack here while the uh, crab snares are soaking. Just take the white water, man. There yeah, you have just been sitting there a long time and some white water comes in and that can get you into the wave, I say take it. Why not? Any ride's a good ride. Well, I'm starting a little itching for some fishing, so I think I'm going to uh, pull in the crab snares and uh, head on down the jetty to the fishing area put that pole together and then I wanted to show what it's actually like to run down the south jetty so you might want to fast forward through that part but here's some music for it Big Swells did a pretty good job of washing uh, washing everything off. It doesn't smell so bad out here on the big chunkies. Now I just got to look for a nice place to set up my camera and get my pole in the water. I'm lucky the rocks are relatively dry today, it, especially on the ocean side here. When they get any water at all, they become extremely slippery. I mean, you can find yourself crawling on the rocks. It's amazing how slippery they are. And then, pretty fast, I get this really big bite. This is a big bite. Watch this. And then the old dodger just dives right in them rocks, and it's a big snag right off. So I try to work it out. It's a bite from the other camera. All you can really do is hope he's hooked really well, you know, and release your bail and work your way down the rocks really well and once again try to get a, a good angle on him and give him a good tug on that first uh, attempt when you try and hopefully there'll be a fish there. Yeah, it got away, but uh, I was pretty sure that meant it was going to be a good day. So we fished for a while, birds went out, birds came in. 
Yeah, and I figured I'd better uh, change my bait. And you can see right there, you got that white nasty bait. So we replaced it with some uh, stuff of good color. And like I said, I, I've been getting a lot bigger fish, I think, since I uh, went to this arrangement right here with the two hooks tied to uh, my uh, two inch loop there. It just gives a nice presentation. Another thing I do is open that bale after it, after you cast to where you want to, and you want to let your your sinker drop straight down because if you close it too early, it's going to swing towards you and bring you close to the rocks. I'm I'm, I'm in a perfect cast right here, about uh, 20 foot off to the side, and then let the sinker go straight down with the bale open. Watch this fish battle. This, this, it took me a while to reel this fish in. It was a fun little fight. Got a gopher. Nice one too. Look at that baby. Woo! Look at that thing. That is huge. Jill gopher rock fish here. Sure, I can get you. That's actually a grass rock fish. I just have a penchant for randomly throwing out species name. the size of this baby. I mean, juice. Easily over 12 inches, probably closer to 14. Right, he had geez. a hook stuck in his side too, so he may not have been able to dive under a rock, which is, explains why we had such a long yeah. battle there. Go, 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 go away, the trick is not getting thin. Ah, nice fish. I'm gonna just go, I got one of the home of these. Woo! Got a fish. Okay, I'm gonna go for one more brown. That was a nice fish. Now we got a video. Got a car. You just never know what's going to happen while you're out there on the old South Jetty. These guys brought their uh, outrigger kayaks, just be 14 foot long out here to catch a wave. Come look, come look, come look. <laughs> Woo! The surfers are going to pretend to be unimpressed, believe me. Just ran out of batteries on the old chest cam. Gonna have to go up and uh, have a parley with the cameraman. I'm on my last two batteries. Are you still filming? I just remembered that I just changed the battery a few minutes ago, so it'll last about an hour actually. Tides rising, so I get chased out of here by this swell. Just worried that I don't want to splash on the camera. And then I start getting bites up there almost immediately, which you kind of just barely be able to see. There you go. And then, of course, right down into the rocks. Got to work them out. I'm out of the frame for over a minute before I come back in and reel this thing in. Just 
a bunch of big fish out there today on the J. Another fun fight. Hopefully, you are still filming. There you go, boss. Very nice. There's two fish. Sadly, it's not a brown rock fish. It kind of came out. Either the crab or the browns. So, we're going to pull this guy out. Yeah. I thought right. this was a grass rock fish when I, when I caught it, but I'm thinking, is that, is that a blue rock fish? If it was, I'm sorry I threw it out. I've never had one. Another nice grassy right there. Well, that was the end of the batteries, but I was tired and I was ready to go home anyway, so we had to switch over to the video cam and record the way out.